hospital bags it is primarily about my bag but yeah, because we, not everybody's got two kids so we'll start off That'll with what, bonus. what jose he doesn't have a bag but he'll explain oh. that why as dad you're gonna want to just uh bring things that are gonna make your stay a little bit more comfortable just basic uh change of clothes clean sheets clean blankets and a clean pillow as i work in the laundry department at the hospital i know that you're definitely <laughs> most likely going to want to bring your own stuff it's it's clean what you're using but if you knew what it looked like before it got to your <laughs> room then you probably would want to bring your own stuff well, bring snacks because your your <laughs> wifey's going to be hungry something to amuse yourself it's going to be a long process you know, as the dad you don't have to have a bag because you're free to come and go as you please so if Noemi needs something or anything like that, uh, I can more than happily drive home, which is great because we live like 10 minutes away from yeah, the hospital. Yeah, we do. And, and he's going to be working. So. Yeah, and I work at the hospital, so it's going to be great because I can keep working, making money, and then come up regularly <laughs> and make sure that everything's okay with... On his breaks and stuff like that. <laughs> Make sure everything's okay with my babe. The next bag we're going to go over, if you have an older child, like we do, mm -hmm. we have his own bag, but it's not her for his hospital stay. It's going to be for grandma's stay. Our child's bag. So like right here we have a nice little Sesame Street briefcase. <laughs> Nathan loves Elmo's world. This is how organized it looks, guys. Okay, so. Hey. <gasps> What's that? Shit. That's not poop. What is that? Poop. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Check him. Please don't tell me that's poop and he just stuck his finger in there. Specifically his thumb. No, there's no poop in here. Nathan, what is that? Oh my gosh. Is it from the bag of food that I had? Did you throw it away or did you leave no, it? No, it's on the counter. <laughs> I went and I got Jack in the Box earlier. Just before this video, and um, Nathan likes to climb up on the counter. He probably stuck his hand in there and got some of the, you know, leftover oh, mayo and barbecue that. sauce and all that shit. Wait. I was scared it was actually poop. Wait, go, Nathan. He's running away from her. <laughs> I'll bring out the first item, yeah? No, no, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring up the first item. First item on the list. It's an empty. It's empty. empty, of course, right. So Just the right. extra one. We have some pull-ups, diapers, easy ups, whatever. Shoes. We got pairs of socks. We got shoes. We got like two pairs of PJs. Yeah. I'm gonna go through his little toilet trees right here. Um, we have some boogie wipes. Yeah. Yay. We have a brand new toothbrush. Yeah, yay. He knows how to brush his teeth. We're gonna we'll ask for it. We mm -hmm. got his toothpaste. We have in case he gets into a mess or whatever, or I didn't have time to bathe him. Grandma has anything she needs to bathe him. So, right, lotion. I mean, he's gonna be there for a couple of days, so it's 
probably a good idea. Yeah. It'd be very nice of Grandma if she gave him a bath. <laughs> so she has mostly everything. It's just extra stuff. Just to be, be prepared. Extra prepared. Mm, the yeah. only little, like, fun thing. Like I said, he even has, like, a bag of um, his big brother gifts over there. Yeah. And we have the other one here. Which includes, like, snacks and stuff. Yeah. But I was going to say, a bag like this, you can totally include... You know, his favorite, your kid's stuff favorite snacks. Make him feel more comfortable at a stay over there. He can mm -hmm. enjoy his snacks with this other little gift that we have, which is a special one. Hopefully, we pull this out before he goes back. So, we went out and we got <laughs> that Toy Story 4. He's only ever seen it in theaters, so yes. it's going to be nice for him to be in his PJs and, you know, watch all three other movies before <laughs> watching this one, which he's probably going to do. The point of this bag is be considerate. Think of your child. He's going to be away. He's going to be lonely. He's going to be thinking about you guys. Hey, that's another thing. Include a picture of mommy and daddy. So now we're going to get into my bag. Mm -hmm. It's, it's not heavy that one. big, guys. <laughs> I don't even think it... I don't think I overpacked. Okay. Hold on, babe. I'll help. Which one? So we're <laughs> Stop! I need everything in here. <laughs> we have this um very stylish, very comfortable. What is bathroom. it? A rope? Bathrobe. Bath robe. Yes. Yeah. You want to wear something to feel more right. comfortable and such. Yeah. This bag, I'm taking it for if I have dirty clothes and um, the hospital gives you extra stuff. I'm just taking an extra bag too. Put things in it. I got these brand new. Oh, shut your mouth! <laughs> <laughs> I got these brand new bras that are from Victoria's Secret. Again, you can buy maternity bras, whatever. So uh, it's wireless. That's what makes it nice and comfortable. Don't got nothing stabbing you in the ribs. Yes, and um, it makes it easier for milk flow as well. Yes. So you want comfiness, and it's easy to also just pull the strap down, and if you're gonna breastfeed. There you go. So I got three pairs of those. I got one black, baby blue, and red. They're brand new as well, and it's not nothing crazy, but these are kind of like the granny panty style. See how big they are? But you're mm -hmm. gonna want something like that when it comes to when they put that big yeah. pad. Ladies, don't be trying to go sexy or nothing like, yeah. <laughs> It ain't gonna want be to. sexy. <laughs> you won't even want to. You want some no, you support. You want comfortability and things to keep everything in place. <laughs> they will provide you with that mesh diaper thing, but those things are loose and you don't feel very comfortable with it. I do know there's some women out there that go and buy the diapers. I don't like those either. So I like more like. But it's whatever you feel comfortable. Yeah, I like more tightness, and so I feel like these chonies are gonna help with that. And then I'm just gonna put a maxi pad in there, and there we go. I think I got like five of these, and like I said, I don't really care because they're just comfortable chonies. These are pink socks, and they got the little um, it's like this guppy feeling, so it helps that they don't slide on floors. And they're nice and comfy, and you just don't want your bare feet to touch the hospital floors, and you want to be comfortable. If you're going to want your own bath towel, mm -hmm. cause... I, I'm bringing it in a different color because they have white, but mm. just so I know, this is mine. Yeah. After you're done with the process, you want to be comfortable, but you don't want to be wearing that robe anymore. At least not, I don't. So I went to Victoria's Secret again. Yes, they had a lot of deals going on, guys, so that's my store to go to. I got these um, rope pants, pajama pants. <laughs> they're yeah. a silk material. I tried them on. Yes, they're a size large just because you're still kind of loaded afterwards. And Loose you will... fitting stuff. Do you want me to pull out this since it's a matching yes, thing? Yes, that's a shirt that goes with it. And this is the top. And it's a button. So, again, easy access to the boobies in case you are breastfeeding. Now, for the going back home outfit, like I said, Niall's either going to be born in December or January. We don't know yet, um, but we just know it's going to be really, really cold and maybe snowing. 
So I got myself a nice pair of comfortable clothing. Here's the sweater, large fitting, but this is the kind of stuff you want. And then to go with that, just a nice loose fitting shirt. I'll probably put in another one just to have two. Be extra prepared. And then the pants that go with it. I wanted some light blue to kind of go with, you know, I'm having a baby boy, but they didn't have anything, so I just went with pink. Two regular pairs of socks. In case you like any of this stuff, go ahead and check out our description box and shop for yourself. We're getting into toiletries and important things in here. So let me start off by like what I said, the maxi pads. It's going to get dirty and real, guys. Moms, if you're, if you're going to be a first time mom, just know it will be not horrible, but it's going to get real. The hospital will provide you with pads. They will provide you with a bunch of other things, even supplies for the baby, wipes and diapers and such. But like I said, I want to be prepared this time. Last time, I, I don't think I was. I got a little boat here, two disposable nursing pads and breast milk storage bags. <sighs> I'm just I'm just taking these. It came with the Target gift bag, and so I'm taking these. And then I have these reusable, washable um, booby pads, whatever. And it's when your milk leaks and stuff. So I got quite a few. Pop those in your bra. Yes. This, I don't want to deal with this when I'm going into labor. I suggested so, that. I'm going to be getting my hair braided. Mm -hmm. Just two braids. You got to look like you're ready to go to war. Like. <laughs> With I'm already getting paint, warm too, thinking War about paint it. and everything. And in here, I decided to put a little bit of makeup. There we go, now it's focusing, some right? deodorant. Some travel size deodorant. We got some extra firm control some mousse. mousse. Travel size mousse. In case my hair gets kind of crazy, but like I said, I'm, I plan to braid it, so or I don't even... like the pudding. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be using the mousse, but just in case. Hair ties. I have some lip gloss. Eyeliner. Some mascara yeah. and some nip cream because they can get cracked and they will probably get cracked. You just never know. It's a little travel size one. We have Lufa. It's a that's I think that's what it's called or a scrubber, Scrubby. bath scrubber. Yeah. Um, toothbrush, toothpaste, little cap for it. Mm -hmm. Q-tips and gauze pads and cotton cotton balls some facial wipes makeup remover wipes or just clean your face wipes just a regular brush last little bag right here um this is like an eyebrow shaper thing i know i probably won't even use it but it's in there just in case body wash some travel size shampoo this is very important Hand it's sanitizer. Ha hands, hands. Maybe get a bigger one. <laughs> I'm like, hand, hand. They're obviously going to have hand sanitizer there, um, but um, best advice we could give anybody having a new baby, Leave it wash out. those motherfucking hands. Don't kiss the baby. Do not ever kiss a newborn baby. And right here, we'll put like a little paragraph for your information. Please pause it and take the time to read. It's very, very important that you stay sanitary and sterile when you're around a newborn baby. Take the precautions and be careful. Cocoa butter, vitamin E um, lotion. I also have some hand lotion in here, also the same Bath and Body Works type of, same as a hand sanitizer. Mouthwash. Your lips are gonna get really dry during that time, especially because you won't be able to eat or drink anything during that process and just what you go through. So take some uh, chapstick or anything from moisturizing your... Hey, I said that right. Moisturizing? <laughs> Good job. <laughs> 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 okay. This is the last confirmation. See, it's not a lot, right? It's what you need. I got these free with my purchase at Victoria's Secret and they're just slippers. Just slippers. Flip flops to wear in the shower. Yes, yes. You just, just want to be safe. <laughs> yeah, let's uh, let's leave it at that. You're definitely gonna want to wear something so that your bare feet aren't touching the floor at any time. Yeah, never touch a bear. Um, <laughs> yeah, don't never touch a bear. <laughs> don't touch a bear either. Some shoes for when I head home. I think that's it. That's it. This bag is empty. Ow. That's how organized. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that's missing in this bag are two items. 
I just ordered a belly bandit. Belly bandit. It's, it's a faja, pretty much. And it's a waist shaper. I trust this company because it's mainly for postpartum, C-section, all that kind of stuff. Pregnancy. And this lotion right here as well, it's a cream. What it is, it helps reduce swelling. So I got to put that on and then I got to put the, the faja, tighten it up and one, you'll feel a lot better because everything's getting pushed back into its place. But that's all. That's everything in my bag and that's, I, I feel that I'm prepared this time. And I hope this video helped you guys out with with preparing yourself for your baby. We wish you guys the best of luck. Honestly, from the bottom of our hearts, we do. With that being said, we want to give a shout out to Life with Brandy. Thank you so much for your wonderful comments. If you guys want a shout out, go ahead and leave a comment down below. And you guys know what to do to join our family. Mm -hmm. If you aren't a member of the NJ fam yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And be a member of the NJ fam. We'd really love to have you. Hit we the bell for post notifications for any future uploads. We don't want you guys to miss anything. So, I mean, it's probably a good idea to hit that like button, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, like we always like to say, guys, there's a lot more coming. And until next time. Bye. bye.